This is the Coach Clark Show presented by Buffalo Wild Wings. I'm Mason Itchy here with head coach Clark Nyman. Hi. Hi, thanks for coming and sitting down with us today. Um, just We're going to just talk about a little bit about your season. You guys have had a little bit of break for about a month now from dual meets. Mm -hmm. You guys just started winter training. Talk a little bit about the training you guys have done, two a days, I'm sure. Well, you, you talk about uh, taking a break from competing, yes, but we have gone full, full bore into doubles. Yeah. Uh, we're working really hard doing a lot of variety um, and they're showing a lot of progress there's been a couple of practices that have been kind of key practices for them um, that are going to show at the end of the season maybe they're not seeing some of the pro progress now but mm -hmm. uh, I can I can tell you with a lot of confidence that they are working harder than they've ever worked before yeah and it's going to pay off big time when we come back into the spring semester mm -hmm. and we get to uh, taper down and have some fun at championships yeah so you guys, at the end of November, just had the Diamond City Invitational, which is kind of just the mid-season meet. Um, prelims, finals, coming back the next morning to swim a second time, yep. twice a day. How is that meet going to change the dynamic of getting them ready for the championship meet? Well, the funny thing about that meet is we didn't really do any kind of special prep for that. Okay. I did a, a one-day resting cycle into it, which basically means I practiced them for two days. They rested one, practiced two days, and we went into the, the long weekend of uh, three-day meet, or two-day meet, sorry, two-day meet. And um, I was very impressed with what they did. A lot of the, the top performers uh, were right at where they were last year around this time. Mm -hmm. And even some of the up-and-comers um, were going personal bests in season, uh, unshaved. Um, actually, they were shaved for that one, but uh, but we didn't suit up. We didn't do any kind of fit, any special uh, prep for it. They were just trying to work really uh, to, to push themselves at a point in the season that they needed to kind of uh, see some improvement before we took a small break before Thanksgiving. Okay. So. Um, going into some of your senior standouts are Melanie Milam and mm -hmm. Steven Kratzer. What are they doing different this season that's going to set them to be a standout in the MAC championships? Well, they, we joke actually on deck all the time that uh, this is the first of their last. Oh, yeah. Like their, their last first home meet or their last first Diamond City Invitation. Mm -hmm. and this is going to be their last first uh, four-week doubles thing. So they, they are kind of uh, in this nostalgic slash, um, I just want to make sure that I do the best that I possibly can for the team. And they've been setting the example for everyone around them. Melanie Milam swam a 207 last year at MAC Championships. And considering her maybe an NCAA hopeful to hit that maybe a beat cut of a 205, Great. What what is she doing differently this season specifically that is going to get her there? Uh, a lot of what uh, we've changed for Mel is actually just more mindfulness. Um, she's loving training. She's happy in the pool all the time, and uh, just that just that change in mindset has really helped her uh, perform better day in and day out. Uh, that that's the real change for her. I mean, she she has the speed in her. She's not going to forget that speed. Mm -hmm. She just needs to be in that mindset so when it's when it's time on that day in that moment that she's able to to muster every ounce of uh, performance and, and put it put it on the line for that one 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 swim so yeah we're, I'm, I'm actually really excited to see what happens yeah well i think it's going to be a good rest of the season for going into your dual meets mm -hmm. you have next friday and next saturday to swim mm -hmm. we're actually going into a really big grit week for them uh -huh. uh, that i tried to plan out uh, we're going to St. Petersburg next week. Okay. We're doing two days down in Florida. We come back oh. on the plane on Thursday, uh, go right into a double header, uh, senior weekend. All it's oh, all yeah. gonna be this all big, in one. Yeah, it's gonna <laughs> be this big rush, and then we're uh, we have one more meet, and then it's time for championship. So you guys gonna be getting into a lot of dry land down in Florida? Oh uh, yeah, we're actually gonna go out to the beach, and we're gonna do some. Uh, yeah. The, the pool that we're swimming at is actually uh, set right on the beach. Okay. So we're gonna go out and do some sand, uh, sand dry style. land, and some yeah. sand stretching, and maybe even some yoga or something. Yeah, like well, I'm sure that'll be beach. a lot of good change of scenery yeah. and all that kind of stuff for them. Well, get them in a different especially mindset. Especially with the snow on the horizon, will be nice. <laughs> yeah, get, like, get out actually, of here. We've actually been very fortunate and haven't been really affected by any kind of winter weather, um, and we're actually getting away during one of the. Uh, biggest winter winter season so we hope that we don't hit too much rain while we're down there yeah <laughs> all right well this has been the Co the coach clark show i'm macy nitchie coach clark